natural vegetation and wild life that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson i hope you are excited to learn this the lithosphere the atmosphere and the hydrosphere together form the biosphere what is the lithosphere i'm sure you have learned this in your previous lessons what is the lithosphere it is the rigid outermost shell of the earth and what is the atmosphere it is the layer of gases surrounding the earth and the hydrosphere what is the hydrosphere it is the total amount of water on earth so all these combine together and form the biosphere so what is the biosphere it is the part of the earth's surface occupied by living organisms all plants all the animals and all the microorganisms the two kingdoms of the biosphere are the animal kingdom and the plant kingdom the animal kingdom is also known as the fauna and the plant kingdom is known as the flora can you see all the plants and all the animals yeah the two kingdoms of the biosphere what are the atmospheric elements that affect living organisms that's what we are going to look at there are seven atmospheric elements that affect living organisms first is rainfall less rainfall or a lot of rainfall that affects living organisms temperature hot or cold okay temperature whether it's hot or cold that also affects the growth of living organisms sunlight a lot of sunlight or very less sunlight that affects the growth of living organisms moisture the amount of water content okay the next is elevation what is elevation it is the height above sea level okay so whether it is very high above sea level or uh, not that also affects living organisms thickness of soil whether the soil is thick or thin yeah and slope what is a slope slope is when a surface is slanted okay or it's a surface where the where one end is higher than the other so these are seven things that affect living organisms evolution what is evolution it is the process by which different kinds of organisms have developed over the years what is natural vegetation it is the natural growth of plants from the smallest grass to the tallest trees so natural vegetation is vegetation grass trees shrubs everything that has grown naturally here's what you need to know about natural vegetation it grows naturally with no help absolutely no help from human beings isn't that cool and hey there is a variety of natural vegetation on earth look at this one isn't it beautiful the variation in the amount of sunlight and rainfall in different places of the world lead to different types of plants trees and shrubs what does this mean there are places on earth where there's a lot of sunlight and the plants that grow in a lot of sunlight are very different from the plants that grow in places where there is no sunlight or very little sunlight 
Similarly, there are places on earth where there is rain all throughout the year and the plants that grow there are very different. Okay, there are also places on earth where there is very little rain or no rain and those places, the plants that you see in those places are extremely different. Yeah, so that difference is evident.